Welcome to Roofing Road Trips with Heidi. Explore the roofing industry through the eyes of a long-term professional within the trade. Listen for insights, interviews, and exciting news in the roofing industry today. Hello, everyone. My name is Megan Ellsworth here at RoofersCoffeeShop.com, and we are back again with a roofing road trip, and I'm tripping over to Virginia to talk with the Virginia Association of Roofing Professionals, Heather and Rick. Hi, how are you? Good morning. How are you? Good. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so glad to uh, have you here and be chatting about this great convention that's coming up. Um, Heather, why don't we start with you? Introduce yourself and a little bit about your role at the association. Okay, well, I'm Heather Greenwell, and I'm the current executive director of the Virginia Association of Roofing Professionals. And I've been working with the group for 17 years now, and it's a great group of individuals um, made up of all different kinds of roofing professionals in Virginia and just happy to be here. That's great. 17 years. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, she does a great job. Boy. I've known Rick that long. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rick? Um, I'm Rick Heath. Uh, I am an independent rep for uh, Carlisle uh, Roofing. And I've been a member of FART since 2006, and I am actually a past president. I was a president, uh, our 50th president. Oh, wow. Congrats. Yeah. That's lucky. F big, the big 5-0. Exactly. <laughs> Um, okay, great. Well, and now this is the 56th annual summer convention that you guys are holding. What are some things that contractors should know before they attend this year? Contractors need to know that the VARP summer convention is not a traditional trade show or seminar in the traditional sense. It's um, for 56 years, the VARP summer convention has been a vehicle for you know, roofing professionals, um, contractors, suppliers, consultants um, to come together once a year to um, to talk, celebrate accomplishments uh, that the industry has achieved over the past year, commiserate on collective issues, and hopefully talk about some resolution and plan for going forward. And, you know, just connect and network in a way that hopefully or that strengthens everyone who's attending individually, as well as the Virginia roofing industry collectively. So to me, that's what the convention is all about. That's great. What do you think, Rick? No, I, I think you, you um, hit it on the head. You know, it, 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 it's a time to uh, uh, get together as a roofing community and um, it, which is going to kind of dovetail and why you should join. But uh, um but it's it's so we can talk about best practices, what went right, what went wrong, um, and uh, and enjoy each other's company for a couple of days. Yeah, are there any fun events that you that you all hold? Well, so the welcome reception now it features it's it's kind of indoor outdoor, and we're at the beach this year, and there's a cornhole tournament. And last year, a first timer compared the welcome reception to a family reunion vibe because it's just a friendly, laid back atmosphere. And, you know, I would say, and, Var and Rick's been involved a long time. We worked hard to, to create this atmosphere of um, collegiality and camaraderie so that uh, business competitors can come together and um, you know, hang out and, and enjoy each other's company and really work together for the industry. Yeah. In a fun environment, getting to know each other on a more personal level. That's always, that always makes things way, way more fun and comfortable, especially yeah. when business is involved. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just, it's a lot easier to have a conversation over a cold beer than sitting in an office. You know, it just, it makes, it relaxes everybody. Preach it. <laughs> Um, so what are some classes that are going to be, um, going on at this year's convention? Well, we're very excited and honored to have Lisa Sprick coming this year. Um, she's our keynote education speaker and, you know, the past few years at the convention, we've moved away from kind of offering 
like technical education sessions that you would be able to get from your distributor or manufacturer. And it's really about knowledge sharing among leaders and, you know, members of the industry. And so, you know, Lisa, as um, chairman of NRCA right now, and as her experience running a small moving company in Oregon, um, she's, I think I'm just very excited to hear the insights that she's going to share with um, all the attendees this year um, from just that national uh, what's going on in the industry and what, what are we doing to, you know, work on these issues and what resources might be available to our attendees that they might not be aware of. Um, and just kind of picking her brain, um, during our reverse round table that we got planned. So that's, she's the keynote this year. That's so. really cool that she's also not from Virginia too. So like everyone attending the convention is most likely, you know, in the Virginia area. So kind of getting a different perspective. That's, that's a really good point. Um, so you mentioned the cornhole tournament and I need to know more. <laughs> is this the first time you've held it? How long have you been doing it? And when is it this year? Uh, this is our ninth year doing it. Uh, and it will be held at the uh, the welcome reception, um, what is that? Wednesday night. Wednesday, August second. Yep. Um, so we do a uh, the the president uh, Todd Scanlon will do a, an introduction and a and a welcome to the fifty sixth uh, anniversary of the summer convention, and then we kind of roll right into it. We have you know buffet food uh, during it. Um, obviously cold beers during it during it, and then uh, we do the cornhole tournament, which is a lot of fun. Because it's it's uh, it's friendly competition. Yeah, and I I have to give a shout out to one of our members, April McKelvey, who was on the summer convention committee for for many years, and we were talking about ways to just kind of add a little more interest and fun to the welcome reception, and she just threw out cornhole tournament off the cuff, and I don't think she had any idea it would turn into one of ARP's annual tournaments. So. Um, it's yeah, like Rick said, it's very popular and everyone has a good time. And it's, you know, I think some people take it more seriously than others. I mean, we have, you know, families, uh, spouses, wives, they get involved and it's, you know, it's just a good, it's just a good time. That's so fun. I love cornhole, honestly. So I wish I could attend and, and enter the tournament. <laughs> um, Come on. Okay. Yeah, bring it on. Twist my arm. <laughs> so what are some benefits to joining the Virginia Association of Roofing Professionals? All right. So the, um, there's several, um, you know, kind of touching on, you know, the camaraderie and uh, learning best practices from, you know, other roofers, you know, when it comes to, you know, safety, um, uh, you know, manpower, you know, how you deal with this or that, you know, uh, different issues within the, the roofing community. And also, we're very active um, on the government affairs side. So trying to stay in front of issues on, on the government side that either are good for roofing or construction and or bad for roofing and construction. Uh, so we're, we're, we're very active there. Um, and also the, the latest trends when it comes to um, either safety um, or uh, uh, execution uh, products, things of that nature. So it's, it's, uh, those are the big things. Um, also, uh, all the members of, of VARP are, um, uh, licensed certified contractors plus suppliers like myself. Um, but all the contractors are, um, uh, class A or, you know, they're certified contractors. So it's, um, uh, it's prestigious to be a member of. Yeah. You know, I would say, you know, VARP is not your typical business selling goods and services. It's, you know, it's the trade association for roofing and related professionals in Virginia. And yes, we have tangible benefits like for joining such as membership discounts on our awesome events and, you know, um, insurance rebates um, through our partnership. Um, and but really, I feel like the purpose of VARP is to support and advance the roofing industry in Virginia. And, you know, I think one of the real benefits 
of being a part of this is knowing you're doing your part to support your own business. So like Rick said, we're very active on government relations. Um, you know, right now we're working on, and this is going to happen, I'm confident, an easier path to solar licensing for roofing contractors. Because right now you have you know, people putting solar panels on roofs and putting holes in, in, you know, customers roofs and voiding their insurance. I mean, their warranty. Um, warranty. And so, you know, that's the kind of thing that VARP is working on. And, you know, we need everybody's support and involvement to make those kinds of things happen. But, but that should happen in 2024. But um, that's what VARP's all about is, is working on these common issues that um, benefit everyone. So. Uh, and the other big one that we're working on is uh, workforce development. <laughs> Excuse me. We uh, Construction in general does not have enough uh, workers, laborers. Uh, and um, so specific to us, um, you know, we are work working with um, the local um, school districts and trying to get with the guidance counselors and start to feed, um, you know, younger um, persons, males and females, uh, to try to get them in the uh, roofing industry because unfortunately we're we're aging out and uh, you know um, it's just it's hard so that's that's a big um, effort that Mark has been working on uh, for years but we've been ramping it up and we actually hopefully have a, uh, a another guidance counselor event coming up in the 24 25 school year uh, in the Petersburg area. That's great. That's great. And it's so important that kiddos know that's an option and it's a great option. You know, the college isn't the only exactly. way or, you know, you can still go into construction and have a college degree. It's there's so many options. It's great. So that's cool that you're doing exactly. that. Um, why should contractors become a VARP accredited contractor? I think it's just an added layer of, um, showing your commitment to uh, education and knowledge of what you're doing and, you know, joining, I mean, becoming a credit contractor is very easy if you're already an active member of VARP. It's just really a matter of filling out the application and make sure you're coming to our education events. Um, but again, it just shows that commitment to knowledge and professionalism and expertise. And, you know, if I, as a consumer, I would, I, you know, with a roof in Virginia, I would want an accredited contractor on my roof. So that's why. Yeah. It, it helps separate um, our accredited contractors from the, the two guys in the pickup truck that, uh, you know, don't have licensing, don't have insurance, you know, do a half-assed job get their, you know, the, either the deposit, which unfortunately happens, they'll get the deposit, never finish the roof to begin with, or they'll they'll finish a roof, but just not do it in a, in a, a professional manner. So that, that helps um, distinguish our members and our accredited contractors from the other guys when they're making sales calls. Absolutely. Yeah. So since you've held this convention for over half a century, what are some things you're proud of looking back at past um, summer conventions? Well, I think one thing we're very proud of is that we've kept this tradition alive for 56 years. Um, you know, VARP was started by a roofing contractor, Millard Lemon, and his wife, Betty, who back in 1967, who moved, you know, they moved from North Carolina to Richmond and realized Virginia didn't have a trade association because the Carolinas roofing and sheet metal they were members of Carolina's Roofing and Sheet Metal Contractors Association. And so the two of them, you know, got together with um, distributors and just reached out to all the contractors in Virginia at the time and, and started VARP, um, which was originally called Virginia Association of Roofing Contractors. And again, I mean, they just created the organization to come together for mutual benefit of everyone. And I, you know, to this day, 56 years, VARP is still, still doing that. Um, and I think, you know, it, it's one of those things where I think you have to join and get involved to really see the value of the organization. Um, but it's, it does a lot. We're doing a lot. So that's, that's what I'm proud of. Yeah. You um, should be proud of that. the workforce development, the government relations. I think, um, you know, we're really, 
benefiting the industry I agree. in yeah, Virginia. And, and, uh, Heather should be proud of it because she carries 98.99% of all the weight when it comes to <clears throat> VARP in general and the summer convention. Team effort. So, Team effort. Uh, yes, it is, it is. But um, the other uh, cool thing over the 56 years of us doing this is how we have evolved and pivoted and adjusted like the cornhole tournament and um, getting, you know, adjusting how we do speakers and the layout and the formatting of it. Um, and because we've done that, I feel that our att attendance has been good. Not that we it's been good every year because things happen, you know, recessions, whatever it may be. Um, but I think our attendance the last five to 10 years has been very strong and very diverse where it's not all, all the sales guys waiting to, to call on four roofers that show up with their families, but it's, it's a, a, it's a big room of contractors and suppliers. Um, but it's, you know, uh, the diversity and the numbers, um, our numbers have, have been very strong. Um, I think what she had, Heather, at least the last 10 years. Yeah, no, I, I feel like we have a, a really good turnout. Um, <laughs> Especially compared to how other people, how other groups are doing these days, you know, it's been hard, especially since COVID. But I think, um, yeah, we are offering a, uh, an event that you can't really find anywhere else. So I would agree with everything Rick's saying. And, and we also get um, participation from roofers throughout the state, um, northern Virginia, the western part of the, of the state, you know, the uh, Tidewater, Norfolk area, you know, like all, everybody. Um, there's good participation throughout the whole state. And I do think that, that, you know, just like with the national, you know, I think, um, so contractors from Northern Virginia enjoy talking to the ones from the beach area and, you know, from Southwest Virginia, um, and you're not necessarily networking with just your direct competitors that you might see at, you know, local events and, and whatnot. So it's, um, yeah, it's a good opportunity to just, um, really rub elbows with uh, a lot of smart leaders in the Virginia roofing industry. So uh, that's the great benefit of it. Absolutely. I think it goes to show as well that you have contractors and roofing professionals coming from all over the state, not just one from one metropolitan area. So good on you guys for getting everybody involved. And it just um, shows the depth of the, of the association. So um so last question what are some other events varp is hosting this year well we have two golf tournaments mm -hmm. that always sell out or nearly sell out and that one in the spring in may and one in the fall in october so the october event will be our next event after the, the convention um our next social event and then um we have a shooting tournament that we started within the past 10 years. I think this is on its seventh or eighth year, and that sells out immediately. So if anyone's interested in going to the Sporting Clays Classic. And then we have, um, education-wise, we've got a webinar coming up in late September, uh, navigating a drug-free workplace in light of marijuana use laws and restrictions on post-accident testing, because I don't know if you've heard the news, and I think it's happening everywhere, but uh, Virginia has legalized it. So um, that's an issue facing our members. And we are, uh, Philip Siegel is presenting that for us. So we really appreciate that. Very cool. Yeah. And, and uh, touching on what Heather was saying, we do do um, uh, two golf tournaments. We do the fall one, which is our standard or, or regular that we've been doing for uh, a long, long time. And then we started the spring one, which is a charity golf tournament. Uh, so we give, um, Probably what between ten and fifteen thousand dollars, roughly, Heather. Yeah, we usually give at least fifteen thousand every year straight to a charity. We just all the profit goes directly to uh, a, a, cha a children's hospital charity. Yeah. Oh, that's great! Wow, that's a that's not chump change either. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly. that's really wow. That's great. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me today. It's been really amazing learning about VARP. Um, I hope to attend someday. And anything else you guys have to add about why a contractor, you know, should get involved with you all? You know, as we've said over the last 
25 minutes. You know, VARP is just, <clears throat> it's been around for 56 years. Um, and it's, it is well respected within the state and beyond that. Um, you know, it's, it, uh, you know, we are recognized nationally, like work for, workforce development. Um, there's the National Roof, Roofing Association, and we held some of the first classes of their training in Virginia. So it's it's just you know we 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 try to always give back to the industry, whether it's safety, um, you know, education, um, or government relations. You know, we just try to always be do our best to be on the cutting edge. So I think that's the biggest reason why you should be a member of ARP. Yeah, yeah, and I'll say you know VARP is very lucky in the sense that we've got uh, great members, okay. dynamic leaders, smart leaders who participate and, you know, you are the company you keep. So if you want to, you know, be the best professional you can be, you should come hang out with the VARP members because we've got a lot of great people involved like Rick, Sherry Miles, Scott Shufflebarger. You know, I don't want to like leave anybody out. I regret starting to name off names, but um, these people are doing a lot for the industry and, you know, running good running good businesses. And so, um, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Great. Well, thank you again. This has been a fabulous roofing road trip and I hope to chat with you all soon at the next convention and have fun. Yeah. Hopefully you'll uh, come play some cornhole. With. I will make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a review. Thanks for listening. This has been roofing road trips with Heidi from the roofers coffee shop.com.